All right, everybody. This is Austin of the Best I Can Afford Antiques Channel. Um, I received this box from a gentleman named Tim today. He had seen my YouTube, and he said he wanted to send me a token of appreciation. Now, if it's okay with Tim, I'm going to put his uh, eBay seller name in the comments below. Uh, I had contacted him about a vase, and he... Uh, told me that he was going to give the vase to his mother and you know that's totally fine but he said that he watched my YouTube channel and uh, he really liked it and he wanted to contribute and and that's awesome I mean what an awesome thing no matter what's in this package it's already one of the neatest things I own um, I did think for a second that Tim had sent me a uh, a I don't know a modem <laughs> I don't know what that is but Oh, a Wi-Fi router. So I thought Tim had sent me one of those for a second, and I was very confused. But then I realized that the letter that he sent with it says that there's something in the box. <laughs> oh, Austin. Can't even run a box, buddy. So let's see what our new friend Tim sent us. I am so curious. Oh my goodness, there's more than one thing. Oh my goodness. Tim. Tim, that's, that's so much more than necessary. What is the plate? I'm sorry, there's a little, uh, there's a little envelope here, and I'm very curious about that. What is the plate? I don't know. Kutani Zo Late Meiji. Now, I want you guys to know that you will never see this stuff for sale. I mean, you know, I'm willing to part with some of this stuff because, you know, it doesn't really quite fit my collection, but anything like this is never going anywhere but in my house. So let's see. Let's see what Tim sent us. We'll be so careful. I actually really like this tissue paper. It's a weird thing to like, I suppose. Oh my goodness! Look at that! Isn't that a shiny boy? What a lovely painting. Oh my goodness. Oh, let me... I, I'm seeing it now. I'm seeing it now. Okay. Let's, uh, you know, let's do some, uh... Let's do some sitting behind the camera here. Let me fix my microphone. Kutani Zo Late Meiji. Now, let's look at the, uh, let me get this tissue paper a little bit out of the way here. I apologize if there was any volume there. Look at that. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Look at the edges on there. That is gorgeous decoration. Tim, thank you so much. This is so neat. Oh my goodness, look at how... It's like a, a translucent gold design until you get it in light. And then it uh, shines through in that dark kind of brown background. I mean, that's how it looks most of the time. And then you turn it up into the light, and oh my goodness, how splendid is that? Oh my goodness, that's so neat. I've never seen anything like that. I mean, that gold is really just invisible until you really get there. Wow, this is so neat. I am so grateful, Tim. This is the coolest, coolest thing. And there's still something in that box. I don't know what you were thinking. That's too much for me. I haven't earned any of that, <laughs> but genuinely, this is so lovely. Oh my goodness, and look at the little gold dots on the, on the, uh, you know, bushes and stuff down here. Oh my goodness, this is super neat. That pink. You know, I look at European antiques sometimes, and I don't see nearly the colors that I do on these Asian imports. I mean, you know, you get pinks and purples and just gorgeous colors and look at all those little gold fencing designs right there it's like cross hatching but 
clearly it's supposed to symbolize like a little window or oh man that is so cool all right let's look at the back oh my goodness why don't you be more understated and beautiful I mean that is just glorious <clears throat> let's get a good look at him oh geez I am really such a big fan of this plate oh and look at that beautiful border there oh my word God, a bunch of tryhards in Japan. What are you doing? <laughs> Why don't you make stuff just a little more glorious? Oh, and look at that Moriyagi, just barely visible. I mean, I'm making that big for you, but I mean, you know, this is my hand. I mean, that's how big that plate is. So here's one finger next to this little bush here, and it's got the most tiny, beautiful Moriyagi designs to it. I mean that's really an outrageously nice plate. I'm I'm a big fan, and you know that might just be me tripping out because I'm just seeing it for the first time. But but no, I'm not because it's gorgeous. Look at that! Look at that! Oh my goodness, Tim, that's so nice of you. I don't even want to stop looking at it. All right, but I mean, I'm sure somebody's gonna yell at me or something. I'm taking too long or something. I don't know. But then, but then, look at this. There's a little. There's a, there's a little tiny fella in here. Oh my goodness. I'm like about to start shaking. I really like, I'm really high on now. That's, that plate's so good. Oh, oh my God. I am, oh no. Oh no, Tim. Oh no, Tim. That, hold on, buddy. Now look, I see there's a little damage on it. That's, that's really not a thing for me on some of these things. You know, you're not supposed to. The damage is bad. I get it. I know. I know, and I believe that. And I'm not, not into it. But I look at some of these things, and I'm like, oh my god, if nobody else loves that, oh, why? Just why? No. If I would have seen this for sale, I would have bought it. I can't help it. Oh, okay, let's let's focus on his imperfections first. Let's just look at it. It's it's had a life, man. It's lived a hundred years. But oh my goodness, this will take point of pride in the background of almost all of these videos now. Look at that beautiful purple for their beaks. I mean, really, ah, oh, man, this can you imagine seeing this a hundred years ago? somebody pulling this out of their pocket just, why is it so shiny I've never seen anything that shiny so this is a Jinbari uh, Yusin Jippo and Jinbari uh, Yusin Jippo is the wire work and Jinbari is the foil under the enamel listen I, I'm gonna point out that I really like I'm not trying to take away or anything from this oh my god it's so exciting i like it so much and it matches a thing that i haven't made a video for yet i mean sort of it's it's in the style of i'm not saying like the other thing i have is actually ceramics but the artwork on this is so reminiscent of another crane piece i own it's wild that it's a jimbari piece <clears throat> wow i am just I'm just dumbstruck. Look at these two amazing things my friend Tim sent me. I mean, and we we had one conversation and he decided to do this. He looked at my YouTube channel and liked it and he said, "Let me send you something." And and he was like, "I know it's the internet, you know, people don't trust each other. It's weird giving a stranger your address." And I said, "You know what? I've only met good people since I started collecting cloisonne." <laughs> in fact like the best people and and I just kind of trusted him right off the bat and you know I saw he had like 400 sales on eBay he's not gonna throw away his whole his whole eBay life on you know sending me something crazy <laughs> but look at that 
Oh my goodness. I like that so much. I've never seen a blue one of these. I don't think, anyway. Wow. Wow, Tim. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Those are both absolutely beautiful. They will always stay in my house. And, uh, God, what an amazing thing to do for a stranger. I mean, that's, that's really wild. I am, <laughs> I'm a little... I'm a little taken aback. I'm not gonna lie. That's uh, that is so nice. I don't even know what to say. I'm just gonna say that this is Austin from the Best I Can Afford Antiques channel. I absolutely love some of you people. I, I genuinely treasure you more than I treasure any of these items. Uh, just, this is this is a wonderful thing. Thank you so much for making this happen.